that are gonna totally suck or be cool. I haven't actually run through it yet. So um, I'm an extremely curious person. I think it's gonna find a lot of who I am. So I wanted what? to. Uh, now there. I wanted to give you an example of uh, how I explore this curiosity. So <laughs> Uh, how many of you have actually had this problem? You sort of go look for something on Wikipedia and then you start clicking and clicking and clicking and all of a sudden you're you know, on wet t-shirt contests or something at the bottom. <laughs> Which all, all roads lead to wet t-shirt contests, uh, apparently, on Wikipedia. What I, what I figured out is that uh, there's actually a concept of six degrees of Wikipedia where you can sort of tie one thing to another thing. There's a great website here and I did it for you all. And you can type in, you know, Mika Baldwin is to douchebag, and it'll actually tell you exactly how you got from one place to another, which is only one step, actually, in that case. Uh, some examples. I had to do this one, of course. How do you get from Kevin Bacon to Ignite? Well, you have to go through vulcanization to get there, which is a clearly obvious path, but uh, <laughs> I think you get the point. Um, this one that's coming up was my greatest disappointment in life when I realized that my father had a Wikipedia page and I did not. So I was like w wiki stalking myself and I came across my dad instead and it completely pissed me off. So that's how I get from envy to him. Um, and then I thought the most appropriate one is uh, how do you get from startup to public company? Well, apparently you just bootstrap it, you sell it to Apple and you're public. So. Uh, now for the rest of the presentation, I want to kind of do this random walk that I talked about and it'll either be cool or completely uninteresting. I'll try to do it without notes. I started on the page Curiosity. Uh, Andrew switched this. There was originally a video that went down and showed you that each thing I go to is actually off that page. Curiosity is not uh, an instinct, it's an emotion. It's actually a meta emotion uh, that leads people to be more curious about themselves. Uh, and of course that leads to morbid curiosity, oh crap, which Aristotle talked about in his Poetics. The Poetics is a structure of poetry uh, it's three things. It's comedy, it's tragedy, and it's epic verse. He focused on tragedy, which sucked to have him at a party. Um, but he also said that uh, comedy came primarily from phallic pr processions, which was something that they did a lot in ancient Greek. <laughs> it's not Ignite until you show a big dick on the screen, so I thought I would, uh, I thought I would start with that. Uh, most people uh, think about this in the Japanese sense, but actually it originated uh, with Dionysus, but uh, the Japanese sense is Shinto. Shinto is a Japanese religion. The Japanese religion is the opposite of Buddhism. Focus on kamis, kamis are spirits. Groups of things also have kamis. We all have a kami here. Uh, but one thing that came out of Shinto is the concept of omakuji, which are uh, tiny little fortunes. Omakuji, you go to a Shinto shrine, you put in uh, five cents and you get, or five yen, you get some uh, blessing out. They're really specific, like a near short term close blessing, which is kind of like, I hope you enjoy your muffin this morning. Uh, <laughs> and uh, they hang them on pine trees and other crap. But most importantly, they are uh, responsible for fortune cookies. Fortune cookies, fact number one, they are not uh, Chinese, they're Japanese, because they come from Shinto. Uh, fact number two, before I raised money for my first company, I ate at a Chinese restaurant and I got a fortune cookie that said, you will be traveling and coming into money. Uh, there's a great debate over fortune cookie, which was resolved by the Court of Historic Review. The Court of Historic Review revolves really, uh, is that really prominent judges that uh, take a look at important things like, uh, is Elvis really dead? And they rule on those kinds of things. One of the things they ruled on is Cinderella really an Italian story or French story. Well, Cinderella actually is a first century BC Greek story about a servant named Rhodopis who got her sandals taken away and conveniently dropped at a pharaoh's house who was having a party. Uh, but more importantly uh, than that, uh, Charles Perrault was the one that added pumpkins and added boots, which actually were fur boots and got mistranslated into glass slippers because of the French. And even more importantly, the Electric Company had a series of skits. Electric Company, if you all remember, is a children's show from the 70s, 71 to 77 to be exact, 780 episodes uh, that they put out. Three things about it, Spider-Man with bubbles, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, rock on, uh, and uh, a lot of soap opera um, related stuff. Soap operas got their name because they started on the radio and they were funded by companies that made soap. They're notable because they invented a whole new series of uh, cinematographic effects. Uh, and one of the big things in this business oligarchs, which are actually Russian magnates that do uh, incredibly horrible things uh, and end up getting Yeltsin elected. Uh, everybody hates them. And Forbes said there's 30, 36 billionaires in Russia because of the business oligarch system, uh, not including uh, government officials. Uh, they don't care about universal values, which are things that we all believe to be uh, intrinsically true. Um, one thing about universal, uh, a guy sort of categorized universal values and said there's basically like 180 of them. Broke them into 10 categories. One of the subcategories, self-determination, was about curiosity. Boom. Uh, we're right back to curiosity. Without even doing this. All right, so uh, to kind of wrap up, basically my thesis here is uh, judge a person by their questions, uh, not by their answers. It's kind of the philosophy of how I lead life. Great test when you meet someone 
either in a relationship setting or otherwise, do the 20 questions test on them, ask them 20 questions. If they don't ask you one in return, move on. Thank you.